Got a zit. Hey guys, girls, what is going on? Viridia here, and today I wanted to kind of make a video that, uh, kind of make an update video, a vlog video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Um, the reason I haven't done one of these in a long time is the reason that I'm making this update video. I'm kind of giving you a, a, an update as to the past three years of my life, because last time I did a vlog video was like, I think it was like three years ago or something. I haven't done a video updating people on my life situation and stuff and uh, I get a lot I've, I've been recently getting a lot of messages on PSN Steam and Xbox asking you know what's going on how's things been and I realize it's mainly because the people that are watching this video right now they actually enjoy my stuff and uh, they, they, they really do want to know you guys really do want to know what's going on so I figured I'd give you like kind of a, an insight into what's been happening while I'm sitting here playing Dark Souls Scholarship of the First Sin, taking a break from Bloodborne and all the other games um, that I've been playing recently, and uh, kind of give you a uh, fill you in. If, if you didn't, uh, let, let, let's go back in, in, in time for a little bit. If you didn't know, I had a kid, and that was four years ago. Um, before that, I was doing YouTube very regularly. I was, uh, you know try my best and damnedest to uh, be regular and, and get my channel going and all that. And uh, the thing was, is I wasn't foreseeing a child in my future. That wasn't planned. So, as Sam happened, um, basically, uh, my life just kind of changed. At the time I was doing YouTube, I lived in a two-bedroom apartment that was smaller than this room that I'm in right now. <laughs> and, uh, because of that, um, I learned very quickly that it was improbable for me to be Viridia, uh, you know, being loud and angry and cursing all the time, and have a little, you know, infant child sleeping in the next room. It just didn't work out. Um, the thing is, is I didn't ever really have time alone because uh, my wife can't drive. She's not able to drive. So... Uh, if, you know, if Sam had to go somewhere, if she had to go somewhere, I had to go somewhere. So, uh, you know, and at the time I wasn't, like, he was an infant. There's no letting him stay the night with his grandparents, you know, and stuff like that. Like I wanted to be by my kid. So I wanted to make sure he was okay. And I was a nervous wreck all the time because I wanted to make sure that, you know, he was being taken care of. Not that I don't trust my parents or, you know, my in-laws, but I'm just that way. Um... Anyway, so, yeah, uh, it kind of got tough to, um, uh, you know, make YouTube videos. And over time, you know, I thought, oh, it'll be easier once he gets older, you know, he'll be less, you know, he'll demand less of my time. That's bullshit, because he doesn't do that. He now is uh, able to speak, and he's very curious about the world, as, you know, most four-year-old kids are. And so he's asking questions about everything. He asks about 400 questions a day. And that's not an exaggeration. And because of that, uh, I want to be there to answer those questions. So a lot of times I don't have the ability to make videos. Like right now he's staying with my mother and father uh, an hour away. So there's no worry of him walking in the room right now while I'm making a video. Which is the case most of the time. Um... At the time, YouTube was my job back then. That's that's how I made money, but uh, children are insanely expensive. And because of that fact, I had to get a, a better paying job. So I began working for the school district here in uh, as a, doing maintenance and computer tech and stuff like that. Um, and over time, I... Uh, you know, I, I began to experience life and, and started to understand this isn't what I want to do. I want to do, I want to, I want to help people um, because that helps me uh, to help other people. So I decided I wanted to become a therapist, and uh, that's basically where my life path has taken me in the past you know few years. I'm now a, uh, I'm now a counselor um, for adolescent teens uh, who are addicted to drugs and alcohol. That has been my uh, profession for the last four years. My career has really gone in the direction I wanted it to go in. And because of that, not only am I working a lot um, and have le little time just to play games, let alone record them and edit them and shit like that, which, 
you know, if you guys don't do that, some of you I know do. Uh, some of you guys have your own YouTube channels and you guys edit and stuff like that. You understand the amount of time it takes to, you know, record and edit and all that shit. Um, so, needless to say, it's it, it's a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, and, you know, piling that on top of being a dad and a counselor and having a career and, and it's, it, it can get crazy. Um, and it becomes extremely difficult. Now, if I were more disciplined, sure, I'd be able to do. I'd be able to do that and uh, continue working and, and continue making videos. But I, I feel like I got a lot more time to, you know, my son and my career. Make sure that he's okay. Uh, I got. I got to do that more than I game, and that's that's what it's come down to. It's not just that I don't make videos. It's that I don't even game as much as I used to. I mean, not even close. I have so many games. Like, I'll see a Steam sale, and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to buy those. I have, like, 300 Steam games, and I've beaten maybe four of them. <laughs> you know I mean? Like, I mean, I've beaten a few, like... I've beaten some on different systems and consoles, but, like... I haven't actually beaten them on Steam, and it's mainly because I don't have time. You know, it's like all these games coming out, and I just don't have time anymore. Uh, gaming is going to be my retirement. Like, when I retire, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to buy an Xbox One. Why are you buying an Xbox One? That shit's like, you know, six generations ago. Yeah, I know, but I never played Wolfenstein The New Order, and I want to give it a shot. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's what I want to do. Uh, but for right now, I'm, I'm focusing on my career, and so... You know, you guys have been asking, hey, where's Mortal Kombat? You know, you started that. Well, I started that on a day when I had time, and, um... Now I don't have that. Uh, I haven't played Mortal Kombat since I last posted a video on Mortal Kombat. So, I'm just going to rush past these guys and get to Ornstein. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there there are games. The Souls games, the, Born, the, 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 you know, Demonborn games, I play them. Oh, crap, I'm not going to make it through this. Um, those are my favorite games. Those are things that that really uh, demand and command my attention. Um, but, you know, a lot of my gaming now is, is with Sam, you know? Like, I, I play games with Sam, and, and uh, you know, I know what you're thinking. Hey, why don't you stream or make videos with Sam? Well, it, nah, it's tough. Sam, you'd think it's a good idea until you do it. And then it's like... What, what are you doing, man? It's like, why does your son keep asking a million questions and then ask you to... It's just not... It's not as fun as you think it would be. I mean, not fun, but not as entertaining, rather, as you'd think it'd be. Um, but anyway, that's kind of a an idea of where I've been for the past three years. Literally been doing that. I've moved countless times um, in that time. I've just been upgrading and upgrading and... And that's what happens when you, you know, take responsibility and, you know, get a, a career and move on with your life as you get, you know, yeah, you start getting better things and, but you also lose time. So, um, I want to try and make more videos. I want to try and, and set a, aside some time. That's the problem though, is that when it comes to streaming, I can't set a stream schedule. My work, I'm there when I'm needed and that's a lot. And so my schedule changes completely all the time I'm going out of town as a matter of fact I get I got the next three days off but then I work 10 days in a row so I mean like I don't have a day off for 10 days and um, yeah and not to mention um, some good news uh, last year I, I also have been helping my brother he's a director uh, living in Hollywood uh, he works for Ridley Scott right now um, and you know for the past Four years, I've been, you know, whenever he needed me, I'd also be helping him uh, make movies and things, make short films and stuff to help his career. Um, and that demanded time that I would have been making video games or video game, you know, videos as well. Uh, it kind of commanded that time too. And all that paid off because um, the short film that we made in December of 2013 uh, was just nominated for three Emmy Awards. So, um, it's been a long time coming for that movie to, you know, be edited and, and brought to light. But finally, we've got three Emmy nominations, and uh, in October we'll be finding out, you know, 
going out there for the Emmys to uh, see if we uh, received any of them. But I know we'll, we'll probably receive one for sure um, for the score. And I'm just hoping that, that my brother gets the director, uh, the up-and-coming director Emmy. I really, really, really hope so because he's poured a, we poured a lot of time and effort. He's poured a lot of his life into it. Um, and so, so I've got, I've just got a lot of stuff going on in my life. And so because of that, it, it kind of commands that time that I would be making videos and, uh, and stuff like that. So what I wanted to do was make a video, uh, kind of explaining where I've been, what I've been up to and why I haven't been making videos. If you are, you know, if you're watching this, the reason you're watching this is because you want to see videos. I get you want to see videos from me. I get messages all the time that say, Hey buddy, uh, yeah, so when are you going to do a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play? When are you going to do a Bloodborne Let's Play? When are you going to do this Let's Play? I'd love to see you play this game. I would love to play those games for you guys. Like I'm doing right now. I would love to... I mean, I've beaten this game a ton of times. This is the game I've played for the past two years. This is it. Any other spare time that I get, like, I'll throw, like, an hour or two into another game. But this is the game I play. Like, I play Dark Souls and Bloodborne and stuff like that. Um, I would love to make Let's Plays of these games because I've gotten very good at them. Because this is what I do to relieve stress. Funny enough, I play Souls games to relieve stress, if that makes any sense. Um, learning these games is very therapeutic for me. Which, I don't know if that makes me a masochist or not, but... Regardless, I love them, um, and learning them is is learning them and becoming proficient at these games is what keeps me sane. Um, so, in any case, I just wanted to make that video, make this video, just kind of tell you where I'm at, what I've been doing, uh, answer any questions you have. If you have any questions for me, if you have anything you'd like me to answer, leave a comment below. I'll answer your question in another video. Um, and. Uh, you know, if you want to add me on Steam, if you want to add me on PS4, feel free. Um, it is Viridiaguru22 on PS or on uh, Steam and Xbox. It's Viridia on PS4. Go ahead and feel free to add me on there if you'd like. We can uh, play some games maybe if I get some time. And um, yeah, stick around because you know I, I do pop out the occasional video here and there that are just appealing to me, or if I have a thought or something. That's one of the things I want to do is I want to start making more philosophical videos. You know, my, my career path and, and things like that have led me to think more philosophically about life and, uh, you know, the human condition, the human consciousness and mind and, and stuff like that. It's kind of forced me to take a deep look into that. And because of that, that's where my mind is at most of the time is, is thinking about, um, you know, things other than gaming as far as, like, you know, the human... Uh, the human mind and, and how it works and how it uh, how it functions because I have to help people with you know co-occurring disorders and I have to help people that you know uh, addictions is a mental disease so um, my, my idea is to start making videos that are based around philosophy and things like that but also time into gaming you know somehow like like I'm doing right now play a game but also ramble on and on kind of like a, a vlog type thing because I've started keeping a uh, a, a journal and I would love to make videos based on the entries where I kind of talk about the um, the thought processes that go into my everyday life and things like that Bradley of the old guard I did not know this was a character in the game but we're gonna summon him just because he's got my name that's awesome um, so anyway if you didn't know Sam on the 21st he turned uh, he turned four. He, uh, surprisingly enough, I have kept him alive for four years, man. And uh, it's been... Is this an NPC or is this a real guy? I don't know. Um, I've kept him alive for four years. That's pretty insane. Um, for those of you that don't know, Sam was an incident. No, not an incident. An accident, rather. Sorry. Not an accident. He was the best accident that ever happened. We weren't, uh, Brittany and I were not trying for a child when he was born. As a matter of fact, Brittany was pregnant for a month before I found out that she was pregnant. 
I uh, found her after I recorded a video one time one night. Um, I walked into the living room and she was sitting in her recliner crying. I was like, "What the hell? Are you what happened? You gonna move, Bradley? Really? You trolling me, dude? All right. Um, but yeah, so she was sitting in the chair and uh, she just was bawling. And I'm like, "What's the matter?" It took me like 30, 45 minutes to talk her into telling me. I'm like, what is up? And she's finally like, I'm pregnant! And I'm like, what the hell happened? And um, that pretty much was the moment my life changed you know, from the moment she uttered that. Because, I mean, she's not going to have an abortion. I don't, I mean, I'm pro-choice, but my choice is that, you know, if it's my kid, he's not getting aborted. I mean... I'm going to have a child. That's the point of my existence is to raise a child the way I need to raise a child. But, you know, whatever. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get abortions if you want them because God knows we need some population control. That's dark and grim, but it's true. Uh, don't have a kid just because you're pregnant. But anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, once I found that out, I realized uh, things are going to have to change. And so they did. And uh, they've changed for the better. I mean, not necessarily for my YouTube channel, but uh, for myself and and uh, my life. I've never, you know, I've never had somebody. My best friend has never been, you know, 23 years younger than I am. So it's pretty awesome that uh, I got a four-year-old best friend, and uh, he's like my best gaming buddy. So, but anyway. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if this is something you want to see me just rambling. Because I can definitely ramble and play games at the same time. I'm good at that. You guys know that. Um, and because of that, I, uh, I, you know, I have a lot to say as far as philosophy goes. Is that something you want to hear about? My philosophies on life? Maybe, maybe, maybe let me know. If not, that's something you want me to stay away from. Definitely let me know. I'll, I'll take your your uh, thoughts and feelings into consideration. My philosophies are kind of far-fetched. Not far-fetched. They're not far-fetched. They're, they're just brutally honest. So, because of that, um, it offends people. But it's, it's, it's my honest way of looking at the world. Um, and that's why I kind of want to do videos about it. Because, well, I live in the South. So, opening my mouth about my, my views here is basically like coming out as gay you know 20 years ago like you just don't do it um it's it's rough so i mean talking about it getting my feelings out there and things like that it's definitely something i want to do it's something that i feel like i need to do and it's something that i think that uh is, is happening more and more on the internet and uh because of that we're becoming better people uh the the the, the mantra of like extreme religion is is leaving the world and we're becoming more self-aware to the point where we're like um we need to figure shit out quick or we're fucked <laughs> um so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys my name is brad and i love you if you watch this video it means you've been around for a while you found something on my channel you enjoyed and you liked it enough to watch a video of me talking um for an extended period of time because of that you are my best friend other than sam but you're one of my best friends thanks for watching guys i'm viridia and i'll see you later